Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and to a very special franchise mode video here in NHL 20. As you guys can see behind me, we've got a team ready to do a season, see how good we can do if we can get a Stanley Cup. This is not just any ordinary team. I did ask people on social media uh, to basically build me a team. The way I did it, I went on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, as well as some text messages. I asked people to pick me a number between 1 and 99. That number, of course, had become the jersey number. So I asked 20 people, give me 20 numbers. This is a team we're going to build in NHL 20. See if you guys' team can bring a Stanley Cup home. Now, there were some great numbers I was really happy to see, such as 87, number 8, and especially number 66. Some people gave me numbers that just didn't work. Nobody in the NHL wears 69, so that just wasn't an option. Our team is definitely looking pretty stacked. So let's jump into the so let's jump into franchise mode, guys, and see just how good the team you guys build can do. Alright, guys, here are the lines that you guys built for me. Thank you again to everyone that gave me some numbers. Uh, to start off, as you guys can see on the screen, we have 96 overall. Mario Lemieux is our top center. Thank you for providing number 66. Now, there's nobody with 66 in NHL today, so I found it'd be cool to have at least one alumni. And of course, one of the greatest players of all time. These guys can see here the stats. All 99 for his puck skills. 96, 99 shooting. Uh, has 95 speed, 99 offensive awareness. He's gonna be unbelievable. On his wing is a guy that Lemieux basically took under his wing, <laughs> if you look at it that way. Sidney Crosby, when he started his career, he was playing alongside Mario. He was a great veteran presence with him uh, when he started off with the Penguins. It's awesome to have them reunited again. He's 93 overall. We're going to have Crosby and Lemieux together. As you guys can see here, Crosby stats, one of the best players of all time himself. Jonathan Huberto at 90 overall is going to be on the left wing. So we have a playmaker along with a sniper paired up with another playmaker. As you guys can see here, I'll give a plus three overall. Lemieux will be a 99 overall. Huberto a 93 and Crosby a 96. I'm expecting some ridiculous point totals from this first line. Line number two, we have Nicholas Backstrom at center along with his real life teammate Alex Ovechkin with Mark Shifley on the right wing. This uh, line will have a plus one as well. Shifley number 55, Backstrom number 19, and Ovechkin of course number 8. So I was really happy that especially 8, 66, and 87 were given to me. So thank you for that. Uh, Jack Eichel is going to be our third line center. Pretty nasty 1, 2, 3 down the middle. Jack Eichel 90 overall. As you guys can see here is stats. He has some really good solid balance stats all around. I'm actually going to go over the stats real quick of these guys. You guys can uh, pause the video if you want to take a look for yourself. Here's Shifley stats. He's 6327. Backstream 61214. OV 63235. So some big guys there on the second line. Of course, OV with that crazy shooting. Uh, Mika Zimenejad will be on the right wing of the third line. He is number 93. 86 overall, as you guys can see here, his stats. He's a two way forward uh, paired up with Eichel, who is a playmaker. And Pierre Luc Dubois, there's number 18. He's 85 overall. He is a power forward. So this line has a plus one as well, moving Eichel to a 91 overall. Now, on the fourth line, uh, not really some star players, but I mean, decent depth. And it's guys that can just, as long as they keep the puck out of the net, I'll be happy. Philip Schlappick, he is number 78. There's only a couple of 78s in the NHL, so not a lot to choose from. Uh, Boone Jenner, number 38, will be on the wing. And Michael Ferlin will be on the other wing, number 79. So that'll be our four group. As for defense, it's also stat, guys. Victor Hedman, number 77, 91 overall. He is one of the best defensemen in the league year after year. 6'6", 230. 6'6", 223. He's a huge body. So as you can see here, his stats really well-rounded. Playing with Mark Giordano, who's number 5. 89 overall, two-way defender. So that's going to be one of the better pairings in the NHL, if not the best pairing. Uh, they have a plus one. 
bringing Hedman to a 92 and Giordano to a 90. Second pairing, Roman Yossi. He is number 59, 89 overall. So very good stats, especially his puck skills right there. Seth Jones, he's number 3, 87 overall. He's a medium elite potential. I could have went with John Klingberg. I did go with Jones just because he's a few years younger and I felt it'd be nice to have a bit more variety. We do have one Dallas star already right here in my Miro Heiskanen, a young Finnish defender, 84 overall. He's only 20 years old. I mean, he's going to be one of the better defensemen in the NHL for years to come. Uh, there's the stats for Seth Jones as well. And last but not least, number 73, Charlie McAvoy of the Boston Bruins. So as you guys can see here, we have a mixture of some really young guys with some veteran presence at the top here. And as for our goaltenders, guys, we have 2019 Stanley Cup champ Jordan Bington, number 50, 86 overall. Uh, as you guys can see here, his stats, a lot of high 80s in there. Uh, Matt Murray, he's 86 overall as well, 25 years old. Number 30, probably the best backup in the NHL will be our backup right here in Murray. Bennington and Murray, an unreal one-two punch. I did actually sub out the Ottawa Senators to be make room for my team, just because they're the lowest rated in the league, so I felt like it makes sense. So real quick, guys, I'll show you the power play unit. This might be the best power play ever. Ovechkin, Lemieux, Crosby, Henman, and Yossi. That's unreal. I wonder if I put Seth Jones there. Uh, I'll actually put Seth Jones, just to have a bit more balance and have a righty shot with a lefty shot at the top. Eichel, Huberto, Shifley with Yossi and Giordano will be power play number two. So here's the home and away jerseys guys. Just went simple, blue and white. Classic social media colors if you look at Facebook or Twitter. We have the F for Facebook as our primary logo. I did actually try to do just a little bird on the shoulder represent Twitter. Uh, nothing too fancy. As you guys can see here, offense 100 overall. Defense 97 and goaltending 88. We are actually as a team as a whole 96 overall By far the best team in the NHL So let's sim up. I'm gonna sim up a few months at a time guys I'm just gonna go over up to the trade deadline here. So we have injuries off. We had trades off We're not gonna change the team at all. Let's just see how good this team really can be we are here at the trade deadline guys, February 25th. We're doing red hot, record of 42, 18 and three. Good for first place in the Atlantic division right now with 87 points. Uh, Devils first in the Metro with 78. Coyotes first in the Pacific with 79. And the Blackhawks first in Central with 78. So we are by far the best team in the NHL. We had a bit of a rough couple of weeks here as you guys can see, we actually lost uh what was that six in a row then we turned it around seven to two win against the jets eight to one against the Az, eight to four against the coyotes six to one back-to-back -back nights this team is firing on all cylinders right at the trade deadline to see what the stats are for the players sydney crosby actually leading the team at the trade deadline already at 92 points that's unreal gonna see the stats of the rest of the guys so Mario Lemieux, 47 goals at the trade deadline, 86 points. Ovi has 71. Huberto is 60. I mean, the guys are all contributing. Uh, not a lot of goals for Jones and Shifley. A lot of assists. Um, as guys can see here, everybody's in the pluses apart from a few guys there. Uh, let's look at goaltending so far. And it looks like both goaltenders have almost equally shared uh, ice time. Murray 24, 10, and 3. Bennington 18 and 10. Some solid stats as well. So, so far, so good. Hopefully, you can keep it up till the end of the year for a, a last month and a half. All right, guys, we got one game left, and it's against the Pittsburgh Penguins. As guys can see here, our names actually monked in social media. Just want to make sure I uh, I share that. Uh, so as for the standings, you guys can see in a few moments when it shows the Atlantic, we are actually very close to first. So we are at first place right now. Bruins 111. So this last game is going to determine who finishes first with the President's Trophy. Currently one point again ahead of the Bruins. I'm actually going to slow sim this one. So we'll see in real time. 
so we'll see who actually gets the goals as they happen uh, after one period is 2 nothing. Jack Eichel, Pierre-Luc Dubois score on their Matt Murray. Let's see if our own Matt Murray can have the win. It's going to be either him or Bennington. Not sure who we have in net. Michael Ferlin, a fourth liner, actually scores for us on Matt Murray. It'd be fitting if Lemieux were cross, we could score here after three. No more goals, but we do end the year in a high note. We get a shutout. We end up first in the NHL with 114 points. 55, 23, and 4. An unbelievable year. So we'll see who we face off against in the playoffs shortly. Gonna look at the point totals. And Cindy Crosby has 117 points, 41 goals. Oh man, that was an unbelievable year. Let's see how much Lemieux has. 111 with 64 goals. What a year from these two. Ovechkin just shy of 100 points, 44 goals. Huberto with 78, Eichel 66, 30 goals for him, Shifley 59, uh, some very good point totals across the team, uh, Zibanejad 21 goals there, look at the plus minuses right there, I mean Crosby and Lemieux plus 57 and plus 53, Hedman had 49 points as a defenseman, even Ferlin had 5 goals, Heiskin and Schlappick had 4, everybody has scored a goal from the team. Let's look at goaltending and Matt Murray ended up with 48 games played, ended up being technically our starter, uh, 30, 13, and 4, Bennington 25, 12, and 0. Very good stats for both of our goaltenders. Let's see where that stacks up in the entire NHL uh, as for the goaltending. So Tuka Rask from the Bruins actually has a 43 and 16 year, he'll probably get the Vesna. Vasilevsky right behind him, Rene Bishop, Frederick Anderson, Hart, Dubnik, Lundqvist. Our goaltenders were not in the top 10 just because they shared a lot of ice time. So basically they'll have half of the games played from the other goaltenders. As for defensemen, Klingberg from the Stars has more points, 78 points plus 19. There's Yossi, it's actually the Nashville's Yossi and Columbus's Seth Jones, so it's not ours as well as Giordano so some of the guys are duplicates just because they're on our team and on their real team uh, so as you guys can see here our set Jones finished with 58 points uh, as for forwards let's see who led the league in scoring for forwards and it is our Crosby and our Lemieux uh, 117-111 Eichel and McKinnon right behind that's Buffalo Jack Eichel Radulov reaches 101 points McKinnon actually had 50 goals same game, there's R. Ovechkin with 44. So I think that, uh, look at that, R. Ovechkin did better than Washington's Ovechkin. Sure, Lemieux got a rocket, Richard. There he is. Mario Lemieux with 64 goals, 111 points. So we get the Art Ross winner, we get the Maurice Rocket Richard winner, and probably the Hart winner as well. What a year for those guys. Here comes the fun part guys, the playoffs. Let's see who we face off against. It looks like it is going to be the Montreal Canadiens. I feel bad for Carey Price. He needs to deal with Ovi. He needs to deal with Crosby. He needs to deal with Mario Lemieux. Good luck Carey. I'm sorry, I love you in real life. You're my favorite goaltender, but I don't think you're going to stand a chance in this series. A big 63 win, a 4-3 win in overtime, a 2-1 loss. We don't sweep the series, so we get a 5-4 OT win there in game number 5. And a win in game number 5 there, 4-2. We beat the Montreal Canadiens in 5 games. That's round number 1. Let's see who we face in round number two. Ovechkin already has eight points in five games with four goals. Round number two is going to be against the Tampa Bay Lightning. We're facing off against Stamkos, Kucherov, Vasilevsky, one of the better teams in the league. So that's definitely going to be a good test. Game number one, we win 5-1, to 4-1 one, one loss and a 3-2 loss against the Lightning. So definitely got to bounce back here in game number four in Tampa Bay. A big win there. We tie up the series. Two games apiece. Game number five. We win in overtime. Game number six. Can we finish this off in Tampa? No. An OT loss. We're actually going to game seven in round number two, guys. This is it. The boys need to show up. We need a big game from Mario. 
period number one and it's actually one nothing mcdonough scores on right on matt murray oh no down two nothing andre palat scores for them let's sim up the entire third period hopefully you guys can get a goal i mean this team is absolutely stacked we have 100 offense tampa bay sh shutting us down with their goaltending and defense not looking good we need a goal quick only five minutes to go and all of the offense has stopped charlie mcavoy scores it's not over yet 30 seconds and no we can't get a win we come so close charlie mcavoy scores for us but unfortunately we lose in round number two against the tampa bay lightning mario lemieux has 16 points in 12 games very good stats in the playoffs let's see the rest of the team so Lemieux has 7 goals, OV has 6 goals, 14 points, Crosby had 13 points. So very good stats for the boys, unfortunately we fall short. Still an incredible regular season, <laughs> insane point totals. Let's see who wins the Stanley Cup, just gonna sim up to the draft so we can see the cup winner and the individual awards for the season. And there you go guys, the Tampa Bay Lightning won the Stanley Cup. I guess if you're gonna lose, lose to the best. I'm just very surprised this team couldn't at least have made the finals. That's pretty insane. We actually end up getting a pick from the San Jose Sharks that was a pick that the Ottawa Senators had. So after finishing first in the NHL, we get number five overall just cause we replaced the Ottawa Senators. So that's kind of funny there. Okay guys, here are the individual awards. Of course, Sidney Crosby won the Art Ross for most points. He also won the Hart Trophy for the most valuable player in the NHL. James Norris went to John Klingberg. The Lady Bing went to Mario Lemieux. Most sportsmanship and gentlemanly conduct combined with high standard of playing ability perfectly summarizes Mario Lemieux's play. One of the most classiest and talented players the league has ever seen. Calder goes to Capo Caco. In real life, it's going to be close. It's going to be either could go to Kako, could go to Quinn Hughes. It's going to be an interesting race at the end of the season. Uh, the cons might go to Andre Palat. Interesting for the Tampa Bay Lightning. No stamp goes to Kucherov or Vasilevsky for the cons might. It goes to Palat. The Vesna goes to pick a Rene from the Predators as well as the William M. Jennings for less goal scores against. As well as the William Jennings for less goals scored against. Uh, Bill Masterton goes to Drew Doughty. Uh, Perseverance, sportsmanship, dedication to hockey. The Jack Adams goes to actually the Devils coach. Uh, Selkie, best defensive forward, Andre Kopitar. Ed 10 Lindsay goes to Sidney Crosby. Most outstanding players voted by members of the NHLPA. Uh, so there you go, guys. Those are the trophies. Mario Lemieux, of course, got the Rocket Richard. So Crosby gets three awards, Lemieux gets two, five awards between those two guys. We get the President's Trophy as the best team in the NHL on the regular season. Unfortunately, we fall short of the ultimate prize. I'm actually going to go real quick and see just the guys' overall if they grew. Mario Lemieux is still 97, Cross went up to a 95, Ovechkin a 94. As you guys can see here, some of the ratings definitely changed with uh, the big years that the players had so there's a rundown of all of those ratings um as for goaltenders let's see if the ratings change they're still both 86 overall now that's gonna do it for the episode guys i thank you very much for watching again thank you for giving me those numbers i i find it'd be a cool way to just implement other people to help me out with a video uh, if you guys missed it, I do have a series, a main franchise mode series, which I'm actually doing uh, with the Atlantic Navigators, a created team. It is a 25 year franchise mode. In that one, I dive deep into the mode. I'm very serious with that one. So I look at trades, I look at free agency, contracts, uh, lines, coaches, scouts, all of that stuff. It's really cool. If you guys missed it, I do have a playlist on my YouTube channel. We're up to five episodes. Episode six should be coming shortly if it's not already out. Uh, so definitely look at that. We'll have some more franchise modes coming. I've got some pretty fun ideas uh, such as under 25 year team build, some all country team build, such as all Canadian team, all United States team. I'm gonna have some videos coming up in the next few months. 
great ideas for that again thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed do leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss out on any new content and have yourselves a great day